Nicola Sturgeon faces the biggest moment of her political career as she gambles on a huge risk in the Scottish election that could ultimately sink her dreams of a second referendum on independence. Scots have been heading to the polls in what is regarded as the country's most important elections in recent years. During her campaign, Ms. Sturgeon vowed she will demand the legal powers for a second referendum on Scottish independence be transferred from Westminster by the end of 2023 if the SNP wins a majority. Boris Johnson has repeatedly turned down those demands, insisting the result to remain part of the UK during the 2014 referendum must stand and that it was a once-in-a-generation event. Counting started at 9 a.m. today. A dominating SNP victory would pile the pressure on the Prime Minister, but the chances of a majority in the election remains on a knife edge. The SNP will likely win a fourth term in office, but several opinion polls this week have also suggested support for the party has been steadily falling, bringing Ms. Sturgeon's hopes of winning a majority into serious doubt. A polling expert has said Ms. Sturgeon is likely to be one seat short of a majority. Sir John Curtis said the SNP leader is tipped to get 64 seats, one short of an outright victory. The professor of politics at Strathclyde University said five polls over the past 48 hours have revealed data close to a prediction of the result. In a blog post he said the average rating put the SNP on 49% in constituencies, the Tories on 22%, Labour on 21% and the Lib Dems on 7%. It gives a projection of the SNP on 64 seats, the Tories on 27, Labour on 22, the Greens on 11 and the Lib Dems on 5. Sir John said, the figures would put the SNP on 64 seats, one short of a majority. What this really means is that there is apparently a 50-50 chance the SNP will secure an overall majority on their own and repeat the party's success in 2011, a success that paved the way for the 2014 independence referendum. Quote, 